Hey, what's going on everybody? 99 here, bringing you a video about the Face It London 2018 Major stickers that got released last night. And I know I'm coming to this a day late, but I was asleep when they got released. I'm a little salty about that, but let's just get right through all the default stickers. Then I'm going to show you some of my favorite holographic stickers, and then I'll show you a couple of my favorite signature stickers, and we'll end the video there. Starting with the Legend stage, we have, of course, Cloud9, the reigning champions. There's also FaZe Clan, the reigning, well, runner-ups. And then you have the other six teams. And I really like the way these stickers look, and there are more bulky design. I know some people won't like how big uh, the sticker is, really. Especially in comparison to, like, E-League, where team logos were heavily uh, going off the sticker. Meanwhile, this time around, the team logos are staying pretty much within the sticker itself. Uh, I really, really like this. And I should clarify by, like, going off the sticker, I mean the E-League part of the sticker. Uh, this time around, the face it part of the sticker is really big, and then the team logo is almost smaller in comparison. Though, from my double checking, they look about the same size. The team logos aren't actually smaller. I just like it because they're bigger stickers, personally. And I like the fact that we have some bigger stickers in the game. That was actually my one complaint about the E-League stickers, is there's a lot of empty space on those. And uh, shout out to Liquid, they have a very cool sticker in my opinion, even though I'm kind of born to hate them as a Cloud9 fan. I do like their sticker. I'm curious how that one's going to look in holographic form. I haven't checked that out yet. The only planning I did this morning for preparing for this video was finding some cool autograph stickers to show off at the end. Like I said, Complexity getting their first sticker since the first major. It's been a long gap for them. That's exciting. Same for Hellraisers and the likes. It's been a while for them as well. Of course, Optic Gaming making a return. Love to see that. Rogue with their first ever sticker in the game. Team Spirit with their first ever sticker in the game. And Tai Lu with their first ever, well, real sticker in the game, given hopefully they won't be uh, removing themselves from this tournament. <laughs> Anyways, on to the holographic stickers. As a Cloud9 fan, I feel obligated to show you theirs, and it's... Alright, I'm not so sure how I feel, and I don't know if this is going to be the same all the way throughout, but it looks like it based off uh, what I'm looking at here off camera. Uh, um, it looks like all of the holographic stickers have this rainbow design in the background, which I'm not a huge fan of. Take FaZe Clan, for example. Their logo is red, and then you have 17 other colors in the background, and it just kind of looks in my opinion, a little discombobulated and not so good. It might work with a couple teams. For example, I think it looks great here with Windstrike, but so far Cloud9 and FaZe Clan, theirs look a little off. Also, apologies if I don't get to your favorite team in this video. I will link down below a place where you can inspect all of these stickers yourself if I do skip over your team. However, G2 looks really nice, especially because the glowing red eye is holographic, which I love. As always, I have to show off Vega Squadron in this video because even though I'm a Cloud9 fan, if I had to pick a secondary team to support, it would be Vega Squadron, mostly because I just love their logo. My Glock Water Elemental kind of proves that point. Big's logo is looking pretty clean under this design. See, it works with Big because their team colors are white, so having a rainbow design in the background looks nice but for example like mouse sports their logo is red therefore having lots of different other colors in the background is kind of uh, annoying for me at least with white and with big it looks nice because it's such a neutral and basic color and it doesn't conflict with the other colors I'm not gonna lie I kind of don't like it I mean I don't like how they're changing the colors of the nationality flags it just looks like, like, especially the Canadian flag, when he turns it back down, it just looks like a washed out Canadian flag. Kind of looks ugly, not a huge fan. One thing I forgot to mention in the first third of this video is that Virtus Pro is not using their new colors for this major. Maybe next time, I'm glad they're not using the new colors, because honestly, they're ugly. But their old colors still look pretty clean. Renegades looks interesting. I'm not sure if I like this. 
their usual colors red, but the color on their holographic sticker is yellow, orange, pink, and then you get a little bit of red when you tilt it up right here. But I don't know. I don't know if I like the change in color completely. I do, a little bit. I'm just torn. Rogue is looking clean, let me tell you that. And Team Spirit is even looking more clean, dude. I love this sticker. I might actually pick this up just for my own inventory. I, I like the way it looks. I don't know anything about their players, their organization, but their logo looks hella fresh. And for the third and final segment of this video, I'm going to be showing off some of the cool autograph stickers. Now, I'm not going to get to as many as I would like because I'm actually planning a video in the next one to two weeks that's going to come out that is going to be almost a showcase of all of the cool autograph stickers, not only in this major, but in all the majors that have autographs. So it's going to be a big video with a lot of different names in it, and therefore, for this video, I'm going to cut a few people short. However, I love this smoke bomb design with somebody's signature. The Team Spirit player, Sid, his name apparently means some die young, which I didn't know before now, and he's getting that point across very, very nicely through his clean autograph. DD's autograph just exudes royalty, and I can fuck with that. Draken's looks really clean with the dragon on the D. Uh, I don't, there's not much more to say about this, I just like it a lot. And finally, for this video, Snatchy is using his first autograph, first time in a major, very nicely, with the lovely little flame above the eye. That's gonna be it for this video, however, I hope you all enjoyed. Sorry for making this video a day late, like I said, this got released last night when I was asleep. However, uh, I am gonna be making as many videos as I can out of this major because I want to keep you all updated. However, I will not overstay my welcome. I will make sure to try to keep my content quality over quantity. You could see at least four videos from me about this major. The next one will probably be my pick'em decisions. Last time I did the pick'em challenge, I got the gold pick'em coin. Hold up, where is it? Right down here. Spec that bad boy. So I'm hoping I can go two for two two in a row as far as gold pick'em trophies go. So my next video will probably be about the challenger stage pick'ems. This is going to be a very tricky pick'em stage. However, I will see you all then or whatever video I put out next. Have a lovely, lovely day. I will try to as well. And peace.